guys so welcome back to my channel and today is november 16th wednesday it's my day off today yesterday's my day off too but i did some um catching up you know but anyways it's my me time today and uh, i was actually well last night i uh, checking my schedule for work so i will put it in my calendar you know where i put the calendar in the kitchen so my husband can coordinate with um, my days off and if we have like you know like some scheduling going on like appointments and stuff so it'll be on the calendar and i was like looking at it for next week and the following week and i got so pissed off because my schedule my days off are not together again which uh, it's crazy it's okay at first but now that i am like experiencing the days off that are together it's much better it's so much better you guys um because if i have like one day off here and there um it's kind of like i only sleep the whole day and not doing nothing i got nothing done on my day off so um next week my days off are like <laughs> wednesday and saturday i think well that compensate that they gave me like saturday off but i really don't care um with saturday or weekends off i really don't care it doesn't make a difference for me if it's only one day off so i have to talk to whoever is like doing the scheduling because it's kind of sucks that they kind of like put my days off apart <laughs> and also um yeah i've been working like 40 hours a week like all the time like actually since i started it's always 40 hours a week i think there's only like one week that i work four days and i sign up for a part-time job and this is kind of like full-time job i'm not complaining you guys like i am so lucky that i have like you know like this income right now and also i'm still continuing reselling oh i get questions a lot like oh how's your reselling oh i'm just wondering because you are working again and i'm like um i know but you know you know reselling is okay but it doesn't really sustainable at this point um in my family because i really wanted to help more with my husband like you know paying bills and all that and with the situation right now it's not only our situation i know you guys are experiencing the same thing you guys everything like literally everything from gas prices to groceries it the prices are insane you guys like let me give you an example i went to costco yesterday literally every time i walked out at costco i spent like a hundred dollars to um like 120 let's just say that's my budget and i have i don't want to go over 120 dollars when i go to costco but yesterday and i was like okay i'm just gonna grab a couple things okay so i went to costco yesterday so i grabbed six things and they're not the most expensive stuff that i grab because it's just the ones that we need okay six things i grabbed i spent 85 dollars like like really 85 dollars so i grabbed like cooked chicken which they haven't overpriced that stuff yet it's still 7.99 canadian by the way i'm in canada so yeah i have to have my rotisserie cooked chicken because i do everything i put it in my salad i put it in sandwiches i just eat it with rice you know that it's very versatile um cooked chicken is a must for me when i go to costco and i got my husband's taquitos um it's been out for like um last week when i went to costco and this week they have so i need to grab some and that one i used to buy like the same box um for 14.99 you guys cannot believe how much it is right now for the same price same count in a box for taquitos is actually twenty dollars now twenty freaking dollars insane and i got a tray of eggs which is the 30 i think it's 30 yeah i think 30 in a tray it went from 8.99 to 9.99 now it's 10.49 so i'm like Oh, really and then what else did i oh i bought a um pj sets two pj sets for derek and 
for Christmas. So I'm starting my Christmas shopping like slowly. So I started off with a pajamas for Derek. And that one is because I saw it and it was like, oh, wait, it's like construction print um, on the front. And there's like another set that is like all con construction print. So I'm like, oh, that's cute. Um, for sure, you know, my son would love this. And usually those things are $16.99. Uh, for the set of pajamas but this year it's $23 and I'm like okay I just have to buy it because you know like this is my Christmas gift it's part of my Christmas gift so oh well so I bought that and then what else did I buy oh crap oh I bought like those chocolates that my kids like um, the icy ones and it's like big like kind of like you know in a jar or whatever and usually we buy like those little packets at um, Dollar Tree for dollar twenty-five, and literally they're only like there's like five pieces inside the little packs. So this one is I'm I'm uh, I'm telling you it's like a good deal because there's a lot in a jar and it's only like eleven ninety-nine. What else did I buy? Oh mayo mayo mayonnaise for my husband, and it's a big big jar for $8.99 and I think that was it is that like six items that I just told you guys I don't know but yeah it, that was $85 already oh my god <laughs> it's insane um last week I spent like $120 um yeah $120 that's with the tax already so it's not that bad because I bought some things that are like you know like higher price like detergent and um what is that for fabric softener okay <laughs> those things are like it's a given that they are more expensive okay i'm talking so much okay i'll i'll talk to you guys later because i i have to go here at save on foods i have to grab stuff uh, my kids was like asking me to buy so okay i'll see you guys later hi guys <laughs> sorry i didn't really vlog after the clip that you just watch I'm here right now waiting for my son to get out of school um, so anyways um, yeah I went back home and then I nap yeah cuz I nap now during you know like afternoon cuz I'm so tired I cannot even function if I don't take a nap or sleep during the day now cuz you know my body started to adjust now that my time is not the same as I was used to so anyways uh, yeah oh I'm going to show you guys uh, this one brought with me I was gonna show you guys this morning but I don't know like I was talking about something else this morning so anyways I brought it with me you guys saw the vlog the before this I mean my collective haul so I went to crazy bins and I bought some skincare stuff and I'll show you guys this one is so worth it you guys for a dollar I got this for a dollar you guys um this one it says eyebrow trimmer painless hair remover and I didn't show you guys in the haul because I don't have a triple a battery at that time I knew that you know like you need a battery for this so it looks like this it looks like, like the size of mascara like look at it and you open it up you put the battery in inside you just lift this um, we'll show you the battery it's like that so there's the battery and then you just align it with uh, that and then when you turn it on it lights up oh you cannot see it but yeah it lights up so you just go like this like to trim but it does work it does the job i tried it on my eyebrows and it does the job i know i i just trim it i don't really fix my eyebrows nowadays just because if it's it has like a like a whatever that it's like on the way that i can trim it with this one so this one is really good um i don't know like i i like it better than the ones that i have the ones that i have i had it for like years you guys like probably I don't know like more than 10 years 
<laughs> so this one is a step up for me it's very bougie too like look it's rose gold and yeah for a dollar that's a pretty good deal for a like eyebrow trimmer for me um it comes with a brush too like a little brush but i mean yeah to to clean it out your thing so this one is painless hair remover but yeah it looks like that it's like a pen like really but this part over here lights up you can't see it because it's like daytime but it lights up and everything so really cool really really cool for a dollar yes i have another one i think i'm gonna gift that to my sister-in-law i don't know um i don't know we'll see but that's my plan and then anyways i also got this one for a dollar this one is that titiana titiana brightening serum dark spot corrector okay i don't have any foundation on whatsoever three days that i'm use i started using this this is my fourth day using it and yeah yes yeah this is my fourth day using it so three days full three days i'm using it and it it lightens up like it's it's still there you can tell but it's not dark anymore so if i keep using this then it will be completely gone so probably by next month or so if i continue you only need a little bit um it doesn't um smell anything so that's good it's the brightening serum um it has lactic acid salicylic acid um morinda citrifolia extract and then kojic acid there's a box for it and also a little pamphlet but i throw that out already but it's a pump 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 in it so so yeah i'm happy with this i i have another bottle and hopefully when i go back to um crazy bins they will put out stuff like this i don't know hopefully because i only have another one and then after that i don't have any more and if this one works, I I have to search it up on Amazon for sure. It's the Tetiana Naturals Brightening Serum. This is 30 ml. And the packaging is cute. I love the color, you know. I love, love, love the color. And there's another product that I that I got that it's like worth picking up at um, Crazy Bins for a dollar. Go to Dollar Days, you guys. Um, there's another one. Oh, I forgot it's not here oh whatever oh a friend of ours went to jerusalem and gave me this one as a um pasalubong like you know souvenir from his trip so i have a new rosary which is purple oh i love it i love it it has jerusalem on it love that uh, i have this one um I think I'm gonna keep this one and use um, this one is pink um, this one is from Jerusalem as well my dad gave it to me um, his friend went to Jerusalem for a trip as well and then this one is like souvenir my dad gave it to me and then this um, rosary is from my mom actually um, she bought it in Manawag I think it's like a church in the Philippines it's very well known and yeah I don't know why I'm spelling it but yeah it says here Jerusalem as well um, yeah it has the copy of the prayers the prayer on it with um, Jerusalem rosary it says here on the front Derek, show them your um, Christmas tree that you Yeah, put I out. made this tree. Like it? <laughs> I also put a star there that uh, lights up like that. Well, and all our little Christmas trees. Yeah, and check out the star. Oh, the star in our window. Right there from Ikea. Yeah, look at our big tree. We started to decorate. Yeah, we started so to our decorate. tree is yeah and guys 
If you guys don't and know it, it's... the socks there. If you guys... I have to redo the names because it came off. Yeah, it came off the thing. So. And I got a... Uh, I bought a... Show them both, Derek. Um, okay, so... I got two advent calendar before it sell out um, because you know like once it's like end of November they sell out and you can't buy anywhere but anyways I got the Kit Kat um, advent calendar and that one is I chose this one this is for yeah, oh my pizza pops <laughs> your pizza <laughs> okay all right so I got them at save on foods because you know you know <laughs> that's where I saw them like it's a good hey guys, deal. So anyways, um, yeah. I know how to cook now, so I made my pizza pop. What did you say? I know how to cook now, so I made a pizza pop. Oh, Michael, I don't know how to make microwave food. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it's snowing again today. Yeah, my gingerbread man. My gingerbread. Yeah, we put the gingerbread there. Yeah, we name it Ginger. Ginger. Did you know, Derek, that what? gingerbread is older than you? Yeah, I know that. That's actually Ren's. So yeah. You don't want to turn off your uh, you're your right. star. It's not waste time. You're gonna turn it on once it's like Christmas, Christmas.